Hey Paula, Scott Walker here. We spoke earlier and I wanted to shoot over this quick video showing some tips and tricks that you can do in-house to help bring in more business using your website and Google Business Profile. I would appreciate to hear feedback from you about the video and I hope these strategies are helpful and educational for you as well. So here's your site right here. I do like that it looks very professional, very clean. Um, you have your call to act up here. Um, one thing that I do recommend is, you know, maybe having a couple more because some people like to call, some people like to text, some people like to form submit. So having a couple more up top is always a good idea. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to suggest is uh, to have more content. And the reason I say that is because Google loves to see content. They uh, expect to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And throughout that content, they want to see uh, buyer intent keywords like uh, a service or, and a location that would be searched for in Google. Uh, then the other thing that I do know is uh, if you like save all your photos and pictures, videos, anything like that, if you save them as a keyword, that counts as content as well. Um, I went and put your website into a tool I used called Arifs. Um, it pretty much talks about your analytics and kind of goes over your um, uh, where you're sitting. So this is the UR and DR. This is the strength and trust you have in Google's eyes. Um, you're at 26 strength and 4.6 trust. And that is due to the backlinks and referring domains. Um, by implementing some of these strategies, uh, I do recommend trying to increase these continuously and have them balanced because they are on a scale of 100. But what a backlink is, is uh, when one web website is linking to another website being via a clickable button or text. But there are a lot of spammy backlinks out there, and then there's some authoritative ones. So I do recommend getting the more authoritative ones, which would be ones that are relevant to your industry and your location. You are being indexed for 926 keywords and you're getting 500 traffic to your website, which is pretty good. Um, looking at your organic keywords here, plumbing companies in Houston, 500, awesome. I mean, that's a great keyword. Um, looking down, you actually have quite a few, so that's pretty good. Um, but like gas, gas stove installers near me, that's not exactly a buyer intent keyword. That's a national keyword. Still, you're doing good. You're on the first page of that. Um, but there's always room to improve and add more keywords like you are doing. So um, I just looked up Plumbing Houston and uh, this came up. You get your Google Guaranteed Services up top and then it looks like no, there's no uh, local ads going on. But usually there's some local ads right here as well. And this is a great way to get business quickly. But then uh, getting up here into the Google Map Pack or Google Business Profile is uh, where you really want to be. Uh, the reason for that is you get a lot of traffic to your website from here. And uh, there are several ways to get here, so don't worry that you're not up here. Uh, you could be constantly making reviews uh, or adding reviews. Uh, you, you can make sure that your business name, address, and phone number are the exact same all across the internet. You definitely don't want to mislead Google there. And there's a 750 character about us section at the bottom of the page. Um, you could fill that out and make sure to use loca local locational keywords as well. Um, one tip that I really like to recommend is um, adding branded, geotagged, or geolocated photos weekly because it shows that you're building your business organically. And um, then you also want to add citations, which is like your address, or excuse me, your business name, address, and phone number into things like Yelp and Yellow Pages. And the reason for that is Google's a big popularity contest. And so by giving out your information to as many people as possible, it will make Google start to trust you more, and that will boost your business, not only in your area, but the surrounding areas as well. And being in this Google Map Pack will give you about 30 to 40% of the people that go to your website because they can give you a call from right here as well. It's super easy. And then going down here into your organics, it looks like Abacus Plumbing is your, you know, number one competitor for Plumbing Houston. And uh, this is their website right here. I like the look of yours a lot better. And it looks like you have more content, but they're still outranking you because of either, you know, one of the three reasons, your content, your keywords, content and keywords, your backlinks, or your citations. So once you start, um, you know, having more content, having more keywords, having more backlinks and citations, you can start outranking them. And then, like I did, same thing, Houston Plumber. You know, there's 1,100 people that look for a plumber in Houston, uh, another 18 for a plumber, or another 800 for plumbers, Houston, 
I mean, like, there's a lot of volume for these buyer intent keywords in Houston. So when you start outranking your competitors, when you start outranking, uh, getting better content, things like that, you'll you'll start to get a percentage of these this volume to your website. And once they go to your website, a percentage of those people will be giving you a call. And then they'll, uh, depending on your closing rate, uh, convert into a customer. So I definitely hope that this video was helpful. I again would appreciate to hear your feedback and thoughts. I appreciate your time and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.